In the enormity of a universe filled with billions of galaxies, there is only one place we know of that supports life. Every great human endeavor has happened on this single, precious, life-sustaining planet. This presentation on nuclear weapons in the human future sets forth the Foundation's case against nuclear weapons. The nuclear age was initiated only six decades ago. Humans created technology powerful enough to destroy our species and most life on Earth. Never before has humanity faced such a dire existential threat of its own making. Albert Einstein was the greatest scientist of the 20th century. His theories predicted the powerful amount of energy contained within the atom. After the atomic bombs were dropped, he warned, the splitting of the atom has changed everything save our modes of thinking, and thus we drift toward unparalleled catastrophe. To avoid the catastrophe that Einstein foresaw, we must shift our thinking from reliance on military force to reliance on cooperation and diplomacy. To outline our case against nuclear weapons, they are catastrophically dangerous, incompatible with global security, enormously costly, illegal under international law, and immoral. Nuclear weapons are catastrophically dangerous. They threaten all inhabitants of Earth. One nuclear weapon can destroy a city. A few nuclear weapons can destroy a country. Even a small nuclear exchange could threaten civilization. In today's world, there are about 26,000 nuclear warheads. 12,000 of these are operationally deployed and 3,500 are thought to be on hair trigger alert, ready to be fired within minutes of an order to do so. Currently, nine countries have nuclear weapons. Russia, the United States, France, Israel, the United Kingdom, China, Pakistan, India, and most recently, North Korea. More than 95% of all nuclear weapons are in the arsenals of the United States and Russia. War is not waged just by nation states. In today's world, we cannot rule out the possibility of nuclear terrorism. If even a small and crudely constructed nuclear bomb were to be used in a major city like New York, the death toll could exceed one million. According to Graham Allison of Harvard's International Affairs Center, a detonation in Manhattan could kill everyone within a half mile radius of Times Square. Even more would die from collapsing buildings, fire, and fallout. Nuclear weapons are incompatible with global security. Despite the obvious catastrophic danger of nuclear weapons, their deployment has been justified by a belief in nuclear deterrence, the prevention of attack by the threat of overwhelming retaliation. Deterrence is only a theory. If it was intended to make the world safer, it has failed. In fact, it has led to nuclear arms races and nuclear proliferation, making the world a more dangerous place. Deterrence can fail when an enemy such as Osama bin Laden cannot be located. In such a situation, the threat of retaliation is not credible. Since the beginning of the nuclear age, these weapons and their delivery systems have cost the United States alone more than six trillion dollars. In 2006, the United States spent about 54 billion dollars on nuclear weapons and their delivery systems, far higher than during the Cold War. 
Nuclear weapons are illegal under international law. Nuclear weapons destroy indiscriminately soldiers and civilians, men, women, and children, the aged and the newly born, the healthy and the infirm. Weapons that kill indiscriminately, cause unnecessary suffering, or are disproportionate to a preceding attack are illegal under international humanitarian law, the law of warfare. Nuclear weapons are immoral. They are immoral for the same reasons they are illegal. They kill indiscriminately and cause unnecessary suffering through the short and long-term effects of radiation. Humanity has a choice. We can continue with business as usual, or we can eliminate nuclear weapons before they eliminate us. Achieving change requires vision, leadership, and public pressure. To eliminate nuclear weapons, you must first have a vision of a world free of nuclear weapons. The Dalai Lama has stated, in the event of a nuclear war, there will be no victors because there will be no survivors. Is it not logical that we should remove the cause of our own destruction when we know the cause and have both the time and the means to do so? Now that you have heard our presentation, we would ask you to take three steps that will make a difference. First, join with others who care about peace and nuclear disarmament. Visit the Nuclear Age Peace Foundation's website, wagingpeace.org. There you can sign up to become a member and receive our monthly e-newsletter, The Sunflower. Second, make your voice heard. Join the Foundation's Turn the Tide campaign to receive regular updates on legislation and opportunities to contact your congressional representatives. Also, question candidates about nuclear issues and find out their positions. Lastly, vote your conscience. Third, spread the word. Give this DVD to a friend or neighbor. Additionally, organize a showing or contact the Foundation to arrange a presentation to your group or organization. If you are a student, you can visit the Nuclear Age Peace Foundation's Youth Empowerment website, nepfyouth.org. Bring nuclear issues to your campus through an existing group or start a new one, and investigate links to militarism and nuclearism on your campus. It is up to all of us and each of us to assure a human future by ending the nuclear weapons threat to all life. We invite you to join our committed team in working for a world free of nuclear weapons. To learn more about nuclear weapons issues, please visit our award-winning websites, wagingpeace.org and nuclearfiles.org.